Top of the morning to you, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you may be watching. My name is Sky, I represent the SL and Game Slam, and I am here to bring you episode 10, Dies Amigos of Pokemon TCG2. Full disclosure, uh, besides the fact that it's been a couple months, I just tried recording this like 10 minutes ago, and I didn't start the video capture on the game. So I was like a prize deep in the duel, uh, but I wasn't doing too well. So we're just gonna hop in it, fresh start. We're, we're, do I have breeze? I think it's in my bathroom or else I'd spray some. Uh, we're feeling so fresh, we're the Febreze brothers. So I'm gonna walk over here to GR number four, who we finally can duel now that we're done with Murray. Well, well, you were victorious, weren't you? Big deal, I'm super strong myself, so you'd best be ready to lose. Would you like to do a GR number four? Yes. Six prize cards, kid. Oh, ho, ho, Merry Christmas. Can you really beat me? <laughs> I said that the first time I just went through this, so. Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, hopefully I get a better hand. Hopefully some RNG. Uh, it is different, okay. I was gonna say, it'd be, it'd be some garbage if I had to play the same hand. So obviously we're leading with Snorlax, it's our only basic. Can't even put anything on the bench yet. Where's my Jamal Crawford when I need him? And we're going first. So already a turn of events from the other duel. Uh, I believe we have a Psychic Resistance. Yes, we do. So this is actually a phenomenal lead. I have no reason not to, no reason not, that's a lot of negatives, but I might as well just beef up Snorlax, get him some more of his hearty meats, because he can take some hits. He can take some serious hits, unless they go to a different type. So, unless Mew has an attack that does not apply weakness and resistance, which may actually be a thing. Let's check it out. Oh, opponent's play area, Mew. Um, 10 damage times the number of energy cards. Yeah. That's still minimized by resistance, so last time I checked, we're going to keep going with the plan, Stan. Uh, unfortunately, our attack takes four energies, so yeah, that's that's going to be a while. Earth could, could freeze over again by the time we get this attack going. Uh, yeah, Body Slam does take four Man, oh man, in the new TCG, uh, a four prize attack is doing like 100 damage minimum, so. This is olden days, though. This is before we had hybrid cars, hashtags, or global warming. Um, so we are gone with the regular energies, but I'm just going to throw this on. I don't think it's going to be a game changer to hold on to, so we're going to body slam this legendary Pokemon. And we got the Paralysis, so barring a Switch item, we will be able to pick up a Knockout with our fat Lard in my garden here. Snorlax. Pokemon Trader. Um, Professor Oak. Um, we might as well get a Charmander. You know what? Let's hold on to it. Why rush? He told me. Why rush? It's not rush hour. We are picking up that knockout with the body slam. And I feel pretty good about the position we're in. We're going bottom right cheese to a fire energy. Nice. Psyduck. So this is a water type horsey. Excuse me, so I'm professional here. Water gun. Does 10 extra damage for each. Okay, yeah, it's a standard water gun. So that's gonna do just 10 because the other energy is psychic. Must be biding his time for a Seedra. And also, hey, worked out that I saved Pokemon Trader because we should be able to get a Charizard going in a little bit, barring anything crazy. And if we get the heads here, which we do, because I did not say the P word, is another knockout. So smooth sailing uh, so far. Red skies in the morning. Sailors smooth safely through the sea? Something like that. Red skies. Sailors. I'm not a sailor, so. 
Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. Austin, edit that out. <laughs> uh, JK, I'll edit this video. We got a Charmeleon, so who cares if I can't talk? As long as Charizard's not in the prizes, we live in, boys. We live in. Okay. So, let's get this knockout. We're back on track. We're not. No more Sailored Mouth. No more Sailor Mouth. And we got the fire! Call me Kanye. To boost up this Charizard, who will probably be able to clean up. Uh, honestly, though, even Snorlax might be able to. We see a Tales from the Bubble, which means we got a lot of life left to live. Plus, I will also use this potion. So, we are, as they say in Halo, uh, what do you get with a perfect game? That's not, that's not kill tactic, is it? Untouchable? It has been so long since I've played Halo. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something on the channel? Me and Austin kicking it with some Halo? I'm sure he'd be down. I'm sure he would be down. Now that we... Oh! Almost misspoke there. <gasps> oh! You idiot! You can't let me do that, man! <laughs> Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Uh, we're probably still gonna win, but... That's a Jimbo. That is a Jimbo. We wasted a fire energy. And now we're just getting stupid machops that don't even lift. I got more muscle tone in my pinky. <sighs> Does machop have nipples? I'm actually very curious now. Um... Let's check the picture. Nope. Maybe. Jury's still out on that one. I saw some squiggly lines. Um, let's dump them. Let's send it. All right. Energies are more valuable than anything now that we got the Charizard. And so we're just going to feed him the rock dough. Don't fumble the rock dough. We might not even need Charizard, though. I might get the last KO with him for swag points, but we might not need him. I mean, yeah, they got a Kingler coming in, but we can paralyze him with the sheer force of my mass. And from there, the rest is history. A little something called Manifest Destiny. Check your history books, kids. Look, I have a... Yeah, this is my history book. It's called Personal Financial Planning. If anyone needs to know how to invest in a Roth IRA, I'm your guy. Or how to defeat evil duelists in the TCG2 world. Just multi-talented here. And at the times when I do mess up, I got Sergio to back me up. So, took 20 damage due to resistance. That's kind of garbage because it should be zero. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Mew has some ability where it's not affected by resistance. Apparently it appears only to those people. No, that's that's just the lore of Mew. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we got gypped there. We got played. But if we paralyze it, which we do, a little payback there. A little payback. I do feel a slight amount of guilt with this because I was always on Mew's side in Pokemon the first movie. Um, I feel like Austin may have been more on Mewtwo's side. He, he may have been more on that world domination state of mind. Uh, he kind of, that's kind of how he collects games. He wants to dominate the market. Um, but you know, I'm like, hey, I'm on Team Mew. We're just trying to trying to catch Mewtwo slipping, and he did. He did. So, like I said, okay, that uh, God, I can say something so inappropriate with the way the animation looked, but I'm not going to. This is somewhat of a PG channel. Uh, oh my gosh, that was funny. Whew. Rewind that and watch that water gun attack. Oh my god, that was funny. But, uh, yeah, for swag points, we're gonna retreat. It costs, like, 50 energies, but we're, we're gonna send it here with Fire Spin. 
burn up this endangered species horsey and get the win over Team GR number four. Clean sweep, 6-0. Clean sweep. Dang it, I loosed. Incredible. Call me the dash. Ambition booster pack. We've not got a pack in a while. Check the cards in the booster pack. We have Articuno. Shout us to Pokemon Go. At the event right now, we're getting Articuno in Chicago. Dark Fero. Dark Starmie. Pretty sick. Dark Haunter. Doing some shady things with some drugs. Jutini. So cute. So freaking cute. Zubat. I hate you. Porygon. Psyduck. Growlithe. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I just want to pet you. And Bill's Teleporter. Uh, shout out to Marty McFly. Lost Isle Pack. We have had a few of these in the past. Shabak! Golem. Golbat. War Tortle. Grimer. Zubat. Ghastly. Horsey. Pokeball. Grass Energy. Uh, a lot of trash there. It was just a fluky one. No, it wasn't. It was a 6-0. Because you bested my toughness, take this coin. Peace. Do we have all four now? I f Why do I feel like we're one short? We are one short. Okay. It's been a while, but not that much of a while. So, I believe we need to beat one more club master, get a club coin, then finish off the GR coin. You know what those coin pieces are for, right? You can travel to GR Island if you collect all four GR coin pieces. With the full coin, you may ride our airship at the island's airport. It all depends on whether you are strong enough to beat us all. Well, see ya! Alright, well, I think we may as well, not wrap it up yet, we may as well find out where we have to go next. Um, I do prefer, plus Ronald could have been there, right? I do prefer starting with duels. Um, so if my memory serves me correctly, the science club was ransacked a while ago, and we've been hearing this evil music, but there was no member of the team yet. Maybe it's still just ransacked. Yeah, they, they still just, they still just gave Bill Gates a heart attack and Threw everything around. Um, we've been there, we've been there. Fighting Club was where the first Clubmaster was kidnapped, correct? Oh, it's too happy sounding. Oh, did they say grass? I feel kind of dumb, but I feel like they just said grass. Where have we been here? No way. No, there's no one there. Oh, is this gonna be one of those videos? <laughs> I'm um, looking around the side room here. Shoot, man. Shoot me in the foot. Where do I go? We beat that one, we beat that one, we beat that one, and we beat electric. And rock. So, it's got to be fighting unless it is, you know, one of those special places like the dome or something. So, up here, I'm assuming it's just... Squad, yeah, they just want to duel for funsies. Um, Kikimuku in here or anything? Wait, that's not that guy's name. I'm trying to think of that guy who dressed up like Pikachu, what his name was. But I think I just named the, uh, Pikimuku is like that, uh, <laughs> it's that new 6th, 7th gen mon. What do you want, bud? Good afternoon, my name is Ishihara. I love collecting Pokemon cards, however, GR has everyone's cards at the moment. They effectively shut down the clubs and challenge hall. Okay, that was the most pointless garbage I have heard in some time. Let's check the dome. Ooh, who are you? GR number five. That's right, Team Great Rocket has taken over the Pokemon Dome. The Grandmasters have been caught and taken to GR Island. Once, oh wait, is, is this even, I'm just scrolling right now. Those doors are off limits, only the Grandmasters can open them. Shoot, that's not even the guy. That's not even the guy. 
Well, we will continue. We we have time for this. <laughs> Let's check Challenge Hall. That guy with the big forehead's always there. What do you want? Okay. Well, not having a lot of luck. I, I feel bad doing this, but... We need to find where we are progressing in the game, right? Let's check the airport. I think that's the only place we haven't checked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You were just at the dome. Okay, okay. So we need the fourth piece before we face him. I'm trying to think of what I'm missing. I'm trying to think of what I am missing. We've been to rock, electric, water, psychic. I'm just gonna do a quick search. What's up, Gene? We remember Gene, that was a good time. We remember this guy, right? Yep, it's all happy in here. He was the guy who didn't have any friends and wore sunglasses. Okay. And we remember this. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, we've been here. Okay, this is getting spooky. This is getting real spooky. Well, in that case, we have evil music at these two. I'm gonna find this out. What do you want? I've looked all around, but found no trace of Rick anywhere. Though GR number two has supposedly been seen at the grass club. That better be true, okay? That freaking better be true. Hiding in, in the shrubs? Are you hiding in the shrubs, huh? Because this is really not cool. I'm gonna check the side room, and if it's not there, we're gonna wrap it up, and I'm just gonna have to figure it out off camera. Because you can't just tell me it's at the grass club and then not be there. A member of the grass club. Well, Clubmaster Nick is driven out of the club by GR number two. Our club is now under the territory of GR. In any case, take this. I managed to keep it hidden. Alright, we got a free pack. Um, Aerodactyl, that is pretty sick. Ah, oh, man. Anything else cool? Please ask Brittany where Nikki is hiding out. Brittany, what's up? So you're Scott, the kid going after GR number two, right? If you want to beat him, you'll need to speak with Nikki first. Beat me, and I'll let you know where she is. Lose, and I won't tell you anything. If you're ready to... Yeah, let's duel. No. No duel. Uh, no deal! We will pick this up next time, now that I actually know what the heck is going on. We gotta beat her, and then probably Nikki, and then GR, so... They're making it a wild goose chase yet again, but that's what the game entails, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up down below. And we will catch you next time for the 11th installment of Pokemon TCG number two. Hopefully in a more somewhat timely fashion. My bad. Uh, but yeah, come back next time for more content. Game Slam, signing off.